Back to McDavid, takes a look, shoots, scores! In Canada, hockey is such a huge sport. Most young boys at some point in their lives dream about being on the big stage, you know, with the crowd is everywhere, game is in overtime, you get past the puck, you break out into a breakaway, you shoot, you score, and you end up winning the game for the team. <laughs> so I've been living in the middle of uh, Alberta, both teams basically smack in the middle in Red Deer, Alberta. And we said, because we moved from, from Saskatchewan that, you know, once we we're here, we'll go check out some NHL games. Um, but it just never happened and we've been here for like 12 years. I actually haven't watched uh, an NHL game in like over 20 years. Uh, I did it when I was a little kid, um, a young kid. Uh, our, our reservation did this for the youth and took a, a busload of people to go watch uh, Oilers versus Penguins back in the day. So when I got the call from my bro to, to go watch a hockey game, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go, you know, I just wasn't into it. The road reports, you know, going from where I was to Calgary um, was treacherous you know there's a lot of accidents that happen on this road it was very foggy out and I wasn't sure if you know I wanted to take that chance to go but um, eventually I decided you know what let's do it it is super foggy outside right now and you could barely see anything and I seen so many vehicles already in a ditch and I finally made it through the treacherous roads of uh, Highway Number 2. I got up to Calgary and I met up with my good friend Notorious Cree, who has been going to Oilers games for a while now. So he knew a thing or two about going to the games. He explained to me how the Scotia Bank Arena is one of the oldest arenas that is still being used by an NHL team. If you don't know Notorious Cree, he's a massive indigenous star online with over 5 million followers to date. He generates massive views and partners with some of the hugest household names such as Nike, N7, Procter & Gamble, Coke. Honestly, too much to mention here. So, being well known as Notorious, it was a lot of stopping to do this. <laughs> also, have you ever been to a Battle of Alberta before? I have, but never in enemy territory. So it could get dangerous, eh? Yeah, it can. Especially us Crees being in, uh, in not, not an enemy territory, but like Blackfoot territory. Yeah. People, like historically, For sure, we man. fought. That's why I brought my shank. Oh, Check man. Just in case anyone wants to fuck around and find out. And there it is. <laughs> Notorious hooked up some really great seats at the game which allowed us you know to have a really good view for one of the biggest moments of this hockey game. Now I've watched a few NHL games from the comfort of my own home but I could instantly see why so many people would buy tickets to go to a live sporting event. It's much like a concert. The energy was infectious, it's loud, it's, it's exciting. You get to see the superstars that you watch on TV live and in person which is an amazing experience. And I got to see the best NHL player right now, Connor McDavid, and drink non-alcoholic beverages I saw the emotions of the loyal fans. I ate some overpriced expensive burgers and onion rings. I walked in the narrow walkways of this old arena where it took so much time to get places in there. And also I seen the lineup to the washroom fill up so quickly, it was a race to get to the lineup in each intermission. Slowly, I saw myself getting into the excitement. I started to become a fan. I saw myself taking the side of the Oilers and wanting them to win. It was tied 1-1 when McDavid scored the game-winning goal. So I came out of it uh, a fan. I don't know if it's enough for me to want to watch every game and be a part of the following the team for the season, but I left the place um, kind of high on life. And so we headed over to River Creek Casino Resort, you know, supporting indigenous business. 
we jumped we we jumped in the the hot tub, you know, to end off the night in a really good way. It was the last battle of Alberta, I guess. Of the year, yeah. Of the year. Last time we meet, so next time if we see him, I'll be in the playoffs. Ooh.